I don't know how to start. Hey guys, my name is Samantha Skeleton, and this week I read White Rabbits by Leona Carlington. White Rabbits was a truly terrifying tale, and based on its name, I really wouldn't think so, because really, what would be terrifying about cute little white run bunny rabbits? Their owner. Full out, their owner. Freaking weird. So the first time we meet her, she's in a house that we thought had been emptied for over like 20 years. She springs open her window, walks out onto the balcony, and gives bones to a raven. That act in itself, really not illegal, just kind of strange if you ask me. And then when we finally get to meet her, she gives us a very weird quest. Anyone who's done any type of video gaming knows that you can get really weird quests. I didn't expect a weird request from a woman in a book. So when she turned around and asked me for rotten meat for her bunny rabbits, I gotta tell you, that's a little strange to me. Now, personally, I would have told her no. I probably would have put up the house up for sale and I would have moved. But our lovely protagonist decided to help her out and maybe make a new friend. So when a week goes by and we acquire the rotten meat, we ship ourselves on over to go see her and her cute little bunny rabbits. Now, when I tell you these bunny rabbits and this woman were anything but cute, trust me. Better yet, read the book, you'll believe me better. So this woman herself, her skin is white. Her skin is white and glistening with stars. And when I'm talking white, I am not talking about how pale I look because I'm exhausted. I am talking about the snow. She literally looks like snow. She would put snow white to absolute shame. And when we get upstairs to meet all of her hundred cute little white bunny rabbits with their unblinking pink eyes, she calls them her pretty ones. So if these rabbits are considered the pretty ones and she herself is white as snow, then clearly that is her interpretation of beauty. Not only is it weird that these hundred white little bunnies are fighting like wolves over a piece of rotten meat, we also meet her husband who has been absolutely silent in the room with us. He himself also shares a similar skin condition to his wife where he is pale with glittering skin. And we also learn that his name is Lazarus. And Lazarus is a biblical name and in the Bible, should memory serve me correct, he was a man who Jesus cured of leprosy. So it's kind of funny when we get going through the story and she invites our protagonist to stay with them and gain the Bible's most holiest disease, leprosy. So not only is our protagonist in the house with a hundred carnivorous white rabbits, she is also in the house with two people who have leprosy and who would like to give it to her. Because the woman invites her to it and says it will only take seven years for your skin to look like mine. By mine, I mean the antagonist. Mine looks like trash right now. So finally, by some act of God, common sense finally clicked, all the wires and shh, and made a sense, our protagonist decides, actually, I'm out, I'm running, I'm screaming. If it were me, I would literally burn my own house down and get the F away from these people. So she turns around one final time to see the antagonist wave goodbye and her fingers fall off as if they were shooting stars. Her fingers fell off as if they were shooting stars. This wasn't a book about little white bunnies. This wasn't a book that about killer white bunnies. Overall, White Rabbits was a fantastic read. Excellent for people who are just entering into the horror genre or still trying to play around to see what types of horror they like. But if you're interested in reading stories like this one and one similar to it, I would highly recommend picking up a copy of The Weird, which is where I read the story from. I would definitely recommend it. And stay tuned for more stories from The Weird.